Hi, my name is Nathan Bloss. I am a technical support engineer with GoEngineer. And today I will be talking to you about assembly hierarchy and changing the structure of an assembly and the effects on it. This is useful for when you wish to mate certain parts of an assembly and a subassembly together, as well as if you need to rearrange the structure of your assembly. The first thing we're gonna talk about is moving a part or subassembly up a level inside the assembly structure. To do this, we're going to move the side table part up one level. As you can see, the mates are in the subassembly folder in which it is located. If we move this up to the top level assembly, the part is no longer in the subassembly, and the mates are in the higher level assembly as well. The next thing that we'll be talking about is dissolving a subassembly. To do this, we're going to dissolve the double range burner. That this is the subassembly we're going to be deleting. If you right click, you can go to dissolve subassembly. This will give you a warning about the different mates that will be changed and the effects. If we move it up, the subassembly now has all the parts that were located in the double range burner subassembly, as well as the mates have been moved up to the to the next level folder. The next thing that I will be talking to you about is patterns and changing the location of the seed pattern. To do this, we're gonna take a look at the side table plank wood part. Its mates and patterns are shown here. We're gonna to try to move a part in the pattern. As you can see, we cannot do this. You are not allowed to move part linear parts. But now we're going to move the seed pattern. To do this, we're gonna move this up another level of the assembly. This will give you a warning that the pattern parts will be deleted. If we click move, you can see in the assembly structure as well as the model that the pattern parts are no longer there. They have been deleted. The next thing that we're gonna be taking a look at is changing the hierarchy of parts that were edited in the context of the assembly. As you can see, I've made two cut extrusions here for some more knobs, but let's change that control panel and the level in which it is located. We're gonna move this control panel up a level, and as you can see, the cut extrusions were deleted. So any feature made in context of the assembly will be deleted if the subassembly has been changed. Thank you for watching. This has been Nathan Bloss with Go Engineer. Have a good day.